Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to your What Should You Know About Your Relationship. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So let's get started on your reading. What should you know about your relationship? Please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. If the message doesn't resonate with you, you're welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. What should you know about your relationship? Eight of Swords. What should you know about your relationship? What should you know about your relationship? Strength. The world. Hmm. What should you know about your relationship? Queen of Wands. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I'm talking to a masculine energy. I felt that immediately. There's a masculine energy here who could be confused. I mean, the strength card is here coming into an awakening. Let me see. Tell us more about this message. Ace of Wands. Definitely feel like I'm Picking up on a masculine energy. I'm gonna do that again. Hmm. The high priestess. He's gonna wake up. There, there's a masculine energy here who I feel could be um, in a state of confusion about their love interest. The Eight of Swords is someone who is in a mental prison. He's stuck in his head. Like he doesn't really understand the dynamic of this connection well the strength card is overcoming difficulties you see how this woman is petting the lion who looks a bit sad actually um i feel like they came together they came into uh, they entered each other's lives to help each other get over a difficult period okay there could have been um because i see a queen of wands here so it could be a king and queen of wands sort of dynamic and the king and queen of wands there's a lot of fun there's a lot of excitement and passion and ambition um lots of sex appeal and physical attraction um but you know one thing i noticed about the king and queen of wands dynamic the both of them are either at an all-time high together or they're at an all-time low. There's no medium with the king and queen of wands, which is why they can go from passionately in love to passionately hating each other. Um, and sometimes in this dynamic, the king and queen of wands dynamic, there could be, um, there could be drama that comes with this connection. I feel like the both of them were brought together to help each other overcome a difficult chapter of their lives, which means the both of them were dealing with some sort of hardship or difficulty. Um, they may have not shared the same problems, but they were facing problems individually. And they were meant to help each other, okay, in some way, shape, or form. They were meant to be each other's partners. When one person, you know, when one person falls, the other person picks them up and vice versa. That is why the two of them were brought into each other's lives, okay? I feel like he's trying to get an understanding of this um, connection. And maybe right now he's confused. Maybe right now there's too much going on in his life for him to see things clearly. But I see in the future, looking at the bottom three cards... I see in the future, he's going to come in, come into an awakening with the hangman. He's going to be able to release and let go of any person, place, or thing that has been distracting him so that he can come into an awakening and become enlightened about who this Queen of Wands really is to him. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning and the High Priestess. I see him, I see him getting that drive again 
he's going to get that drive again um, to pursue this Queen of Wands when he goes through another awakening. It's, it's suddenly going to click. And that passion is going to reignite. That, that, that spark to the flame is going to come back. That is why the High Priestess is here coming into so the high priestess is someone who's very spiritual and very intuitive the high priestess is known to be all knowing okay so to you masculine it is okay if you can't seem to understand what this connection is or or why it happened maybe right now it's not the time for you to understand it but what i'm telling you is one day, someday in the future, you will understand exactly why this person uh, came into your life. Okay, let's see what else. Tell us more. What do you need to know about your relationship? The Four of Pentacles. So this person came into your life to help you overcome a difficult period in your life. And I feel like you also helped them as well in some way, shape, or form, whether they have admitted it or not. The both of you were of help to each other. Um, especially being a queen of wands, okay? Queen of wands is like a ride or die. Um, they'll, they'll fight your battles as if it's their own. Now, the four of pentacles and the five of swords, you're feeling some type of way, masculine, you're feeling some type of way with this combination here. Give me a second. Let me pick up on this. Hmm. Could there be a bit of, sub could there be some jealousy here, masculine? Um, because... Four of Pentacles. Look at how the woman's holding on to the Four of Pentacles. While it can represent someone who's guarded or guarding something, um, it could represent having an attachment to a person, place, or thing. I do believe that you guard this relationship, this connection as much as you can, um, especially from outsiders. I feel like during this connection, there were outside enemies who were trying to hurt you or them and the both of you did exactly what you were called to do defend each other defend guard and protect each other you did your part even if this connection didn't last long or didn't last forever the two of you played your part and fulfilled the role that you were being called to fulfill by defending each other fighting for each other um, guarding each other and protecting each other. Just look at this five of swords here. Yeah, you had, uh, I see why the two of you were so, um, so protective of each other. Look, look at this. Look at how the woman's, the woman's smirking at these two people who are separated. I strongly believe there were outsiders trying to hurt the both of you. And neither of you gave these outsiders the opportunity to. Three of Wands is teamwork. Yep. Yep. Three of Wands, Six of Wands. Okay. So that's exactly what it is. The two of you protected and guarded each other with the Four of Pentacles. Um, and maybe the two of you were even a bit possessive and jealous over each other. Not jealous of each other, but jealous over each other. Not wanting people to get too close to the other person. Um, and truthfully, it's because the two of you were in a battle. There were outsiders who had malicious plans against the two of you. Um, the three of wands is teamwork. The six of wands is victory. I feel like neither, neither of you gave the enemy a chance to hurt you or the other person. There's something here where 
I see a couple, a duo who really protected each other. The enemy didn't get a chance. The five of swords can easily represent defeat, defeat for your enemies, your enemies having to surrender. And that's what a partnership is. When one person falls, the other person will be there to pick them up. What one partner can't see, the other person's in the blind in their blind spot looking out for them. So even if this connection didn't end the way that you wanted it to end, know that the two of you fulfilled your role, okay, in each other's lives. Three of Wands, teamwork. You guys were looking out for each other. Even if the two, two of you were separated, the two of you were still looking out for each other. And the Six of Wands is victory. You won. You won and, and the enemy is defeated. Wow. Look at this. Uh, King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Sometimes we meet soulmates who are meant to, uh, soulmates have a purpose in our lives. Whether they're meant to be in our lives temporarily or permanently, there is a purpose that they have in our lives. And just know that you fulfilled your purpose with each other. So no hard feelings here. Um, hmm. 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 King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the moon. Kind of looks like one of you guys were absolutely under an attack. The moon is out here. Absolutely looks like one of you guys were under an attack. And it looks like it's a king. It looks like it, one of you guys were being attacked because of your finances. Your, yeah, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. The enemy wanted to tear you down. I don't know if this is you, masculine, or your feminine, but one of you guys, or maybe it's both of you guys. How about that? Maybe it's the both of you guys. The enemy trying to knock you down, them down, or the both of you because of your stability and security. So it could have been jealousy. And now that I look at this, maybe that's what it is. The way this woman is guarding her pentacle because of the jealous people. Five of swords, it could easily be a jealous card. Being so jealous of someone that you, you behave maliciously towards them. You want to see them down and defeated. You want to see them hurt. You're wishing ill on them. Four of pentacles could say guard and protect your pentacles, your blessings. Because the enemy doesn't want to see you blessed. The enemy wants to see your downfall, and that surely didn't happen. The king of pentacles, and then the way the eight of wands and the ten of wands is here, I feel like the two of you had, had people envy you for your stability and security, envy your success and the kind of life that you live. Hmm. And I feel like... Um, I feel like the jealousy was definitely on the, the both of you had jealous people, but the masculine, I feel like the masculine here showing up as a king of pentacles, which is the king of pentacles is someone who is very successful, someone who is literally sitting on a golden throne. Okay, the enemy had really tried to take you down masculine, the eight of wands is here. And you wouldn't have been able to, to handle all of these attacks on your own. It would have landed you in the Ten of Wands position. And once you hit the Ten of Wands, this woman slumped over. She's going to fall over. So you wouldn't have been able to take the attack, to handle the attack all by yourself. Okay? You wouldn't have been able to take the handle the attack all by yourself. You needed a partner which is why your partner on the battlefield came in. We all have soulmates for different reasons. Okay? Your partner who fights battles with you is your queen of wands. Just like how your partner who's going to emotionally support you is your queen of cups. Okay? Um... So that's why the two of you met 
each other, to help each other overcome a difficult period in your life, okay? Then you have the moon and the nine of wands. Certain elements of the attack that you were receiving, masculine, it could have even been spiritual, spiritual attack. Okay, where next thing you know, your life starts falling apart and you don't know why. You're not able to pinpoint the problem because it's spiritual, not physical. You would have ended up so devastated with the nine of wands. Wow. So we're going to end the reading here. This is an exclusive reading. We're going to continue it in the extended. There's certainly more to know about this connection um, since it is what do you need to know about your relationship, right? But we're going to uncover more messages about what the purpose of this connection was. I feel like it will help ease your heart. Um, so if you're interested in watching the full reading, um, definitely check out the description box. The link will be there. I do invite you to join the channel's membership here on YouTube so that you can get um, access to all of the exclusive readings. Um, you're also welcome to, I will still offer a link where you can um, do a single purchase instead of you joining the membership. So all of that will be in the description box. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.